At 115 cards, this set is probably going to be the hardest to complete. Let's get into Magnificent Mavens. Alright, we're going to be starting this journey with four mini boxes. And these are the uh, card protectors we got. There are 70 of each. And I think there are uh, six different variants. We got a little waifu right there. And then some more waifu action. But we already got four of the six variants. And I'm sure we will be getting a lot of these. And with that out of the way, let's get into the first pack of Magnificent Mavens. Now this set, like I said, is 115 cards, but 12 of those are Pharaoh's Rares that we have to pull to be set complete. And we're starting with the Iris Sword Soul, Sky Striker Ace Token, we got Doom Dozer, Sky Striker Ace Hayate, and a Chaos Hunter. So these Pharaoh's rares are pretty difficult to pull from what I've seen and the fact that there's 12 of them is really going to slow us down. So we might be getting into this well into next year. We have Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. We got Yuki Ana, I guess, <laughs> the Icicle Mayakashi. We have Sword Soul Blackout. Dragon Maid Changeover with a Sky Striker Ace Shizuku. Uh, as far as the most valuable Pharaoh's Rare, I mean, there's no question, it's the Dark Magician Girl. And we got a Triple Tactics Talent. There we go, decent pool. And then we got an Ileron, Predaplant, Vampire's Curse, and Instant Fusion. Again, under these uh, lights here at the Airbnb, I'm not going to be able to see these cards too well, so hopefully we do not pass over a Pharaoh's Rare. We have a Pendulum Call, Sky Striker Ace Token, Foolish Return, Cat Shark, this is my favorite one, <laughs> with a Dark Soul Token. We pulled two tokens in that pack. All right, getting into the next one. You know, the plan is uh, just basically get all the Ultras out of the way so we can start hunting for those Pharaohs. We got Black Cluster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos, Grave Keeper's Trap, Sword Soul Assessment and Metal Reflect Slime. We got one more. <laughs> and we got Sword Soul Auspice Chunjun, which is some pretty neat art. I don't know if we've already gotten into four packs or not, but here we go. We got Trap Trick Sarah, Agido the Ancient Sentinel, DD Savant Kepler. These cards are actually really dark. We got Sword Soul of Taya. I think I'm pronouncing that right, but look at that. Very nice. And then Scapegoat, <laughs> which we were unable to pull the Collector's Rare of Scapegoat and Tactical Masters. All right, and I think if I remember correctly, this is all on new card stock, which it feels much sturdier. We got Millennium Eyes Restrict, which it'd be sick nasty to get this in the uh, Pharaoh's Rare. And they got Medora, the Sword Oracle. Got Beautiful Princess. <laughs> With a G Golem token and Sword Soul of Taya. Next pack we go. Come on, give us something good. We got a Lightning Storm. Decent pool. Kelbeck, the Ancient Vanguard. Sword Soul Blackout. G Golem token. Once again, with a Sword Soul Sinister Sovereign. Uh, I can never pronounce that last part, but there we go. So, some of the Pharaoh's Rares, if y'all are not familiar. We got Blue Eyes White Dragon, Red Eyes Black Dragon, Elemental Hero Neos, Dark Magician Girl, Reinforcement of the Army, Necro Valley, Gold Sarcophagus, The Seal, uh, Toon Kingdom, The True Name, Crystal Bond, and Mirror Force. We have a lot to get. We have Ice Dragon's Prison, Aileron, a Legendary Ocean, with another Sword Soul Sinister Sovereign, and Cat Shark. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take two. So after this opening, if you are curious as to how many cards we still need from this set or how many we have pulled, that will be down in the description. We have Boral Sword Dragon, Surgical Striker HAMP, Predaplant, Dark Soul Token with a Nightmare Cerberus, which the name on it, I know it's hard to see the name in these lights, but it's kind of uh, peeled up a little. <laughs> Very weird. All right, we are down to six packs in this opening. We have Trap Trick Sarah, Sky Striker Mobilized Linkage, Sword Soul Assessment, Nightmare Phoenix, 
with a Sky Striker Ace Kagari. If we can just pull one today, that would be awesome. We got Yadagaratsu, which is actually going to be a Starlight and Crystal Revenge, I'm pretty sure. So we will be looking for that in that set for sure. Then we got Gravekeeper's Trap, DD Savant Kepler, Sky Striker Ace Ray, which uh, wasn't she just an ulti in uh, OTS 19 or OTS 20, my bad. And then a Hero Lives but not an Ultra Pharaoh's Rare. Last box, last mini box, we got another Lightning Storm. It's crazy how they reprinted that card so much and the value has gone down so much. We have Aguido, the Ancient Sentinel once again. Predaplant, again, a lot of repeats. Scapegoat, again. <laughs> G Golem token, and that is it. A bunch of repeats in that pack. Final three, let's see if we can get some magic going here. We got Millennium Eyes Restrict once again. Medora, the Sword Oracle. Therian, Duke, Yule. Sword Soul, Sinister, Sovereign. And Cat Shark. A bunch of repeats already. It's not even that small of a set either. So, I'm kind of worried about it. Alright, we got Ice Dragon's Prison. Sky Striker Ace Token. Light Imprisoning Mirror. Dark Soul Token. With a Nightmare Cerberus once again. Alright, last pack. Don't worry, we have a lot of cards to get and we will be getting into this set a lot more. So make sure you subscribe if you want more of this. We have Boral Sword Dragon, Exchange of Despair and Hope, Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, Nightmare Phoenix, and Sky Striker Ace Kagari. No Pharaoh's Ultra Rares today. I want to give a huge shout out to your move for being a patron and supporting the channel. And if you want to see me get into Darkwing Blast, make sure you check out the link above.